Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute little box. I've made very similar ones before on my channel and I'll link a playlist of all those kind of shaped boxes up there so you can have a little look and I'll link them at the end as well. It's a great little size. I think this would work really well as a table favour. You just open up the top and it will all open up and you'll see that with the one I'm going to make in a moment. So let's crack on and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so the papers I've used is the North Star and I'm using the same for both of them. It's just the cardstock that's slightly different colour and it's the very first one, this one here. You can see it's absolutely gorgeous. It's got like a watercolour background and then they've put this lovely like star foiled uh, pattern over the top. Then I'm using, I've got some lovely ribbon there that's just from my stash just hanging on my wall. And then I'm using these bows, mini bows. I'm going to take another silver one and also the silver sentiment from the Simply Creative Sentiment toppers. So I've cut my cardstock and I've got my sorry pack of paper and here's my cardstock. So this is an A4 piece, so it's 11 and 5 eighths, but 11 and a half would be fine. And then that is by the default width, which is eight and a quarter. Okay, so along the long side, you want to score it two and three quarters, five and a half, eight and a quarter, and eleven. And then along the short side, you want to score at three and a half and five and a half. Okay, pop it back into that orientation with that tab on the right hand side. And I've just put, you won't be able to see it yet, but there's a little marker just along the top there. I'm actually going to bring in my little other stylus here. But you want to put just a little notch at one and three eighths, four and one eighth, six and seven eighths, and nine and five eighths. And basically what that marker is, if I bring it up here, there we go, you can see them, it's the centre of each of these sections so we're going to be scoring now with our ruler to score you know that triangular shape so get rid of the scoreboard and then just using the metal ruler I'm going to score from the little notch down to the bottom right hand side and the bottom left try not to go over I just did then but you probably won't really notice it once it's all folded and again always lay the stylus down first that way you, you, you're right on that halfway mark whereas if you put the ruler on the halfway mark and then your stylus you're going to be off from the start so lay the stylus down and then bring it down to that corner you should be able to see these score lines really well because of the the shine on this cardstock there we go okay so you can see what I've done so I'm just going to finish these two Okay, so now you can see all of those triangular parts. Next you want to fold and burnish all of the score lines. And then with these ones you can just fold them by hand. And every one will be a mountain fold. And what will happen, so you've got a mountain either side there, this straight score line will go down into a valley. And what you want to do is make sure here you've got it right up to that other score line so I'm just going to put that in there just to kind of push it down see there you get a much nicer finish so you get that right up to the point there so again I'll just show you on this one so do a mountain mountain that will then automatically start to go into a valley if you just kind of pinch it together just push down there and you'll see it will meet up really nicely like so okay and that's what you want to have so I'm just going to do these two here okay so now we want to do some cutting so first of all you want to again have that tab on the right hand side you're going to cut up all these bottom base score lines just to the first score line Okay, now this one here at the end, just cut this away completely and then cut this one away as well as so a come up and cut all of this one away. You're just keeping that one that's lined up with that centre, those centre rectangles there. Okay, like so. We'll just lay it down, that's what you want to have so far. Now we're going to tidy up the bottom of these in a moment. What I want you to do now is turn it around so you're working on this side. And you want to come down so that you, you want to have about, I'd say, 
half an inch will be okay. I've probably got more like three quarters of a, an inch there, but you just want to have like a tab here, okay? And then if you kind of just bring it down a little bit more there, you see I've created that tab. You then want to do the same on this side. So come all the way down, again, doing about three eighths of an inch. Come down to that score line. Come down on here. And what this is creating is you're removing the bulk which is all of this here, so you can get more of your gift inside. But having these little side flaps will mean that it will all close nice and you won't be able to see in it. Sometimes you get gaps. Now if you want to tidy up here, just come in again, just slightly angled, just to kind of cut away any score line that might be there. And then again here, just kind of go into that a bit more. But that's what you will kind of want to have, just need to do that one. Okay, so don't touch the point because that's obviously all your shape. And we're going to put a little hole punch here on the top of each one, but that's the effect you want to create across all of these. So I'm going to do these now. Okay, so now you can see that shape that we have. Next, back along here, if you pretend to put it together, and you want this tab on the back left hand side. Okay, so this is now going to become the front. So this one here is going to be the last one I stick down. So now if I open it back up holding that one, fold that one away, these ones here you want to take wedges away from the sides and it will just make you know it a lot easier when you go to fold it all together because it will all be concealed under that one, which will keep that same square shape. I'm just taking a little wedge off, okay, and then this one here, I've got a little bit of the score line showing there, so I'm just going to just cut that off, but I'm not taking anything away from that square shape. Now we want to decorate it, so I've got four pieces here, this gorgeous paper, and these measure one and three quarters by two and a half. Okay, so that's those stuck down and also just on the tab here at the end just take a little wedge off of the corners. Now I'm going to bring in my quick grab glue just to attach this tab. You don't have to change the glues, I just like to use this one when I'm doing the small tabs. I'm just going to cover that one there, flip it over, have this side facing you and then just fold this other side over and just make sure it's all lined up but that will just stick down now. Okay so now while that's drying these triangles will line up with each other so if you just grab your hole punch and I'm just going to use the smaller setting and I'm just going to punch a hole as close to the top as you can get it. Bring it up there you can see and you'll see there it's gone through the other side as well. So again, just make sure the points line up, not the side side pieces, because like me, look, mine are all different, but make sure the points line up. Okay, so now I've got all the holes punched there as well. Next, we want to seal the bottom. So remember, the one that squares the last one you're going to stick down. So I'm going to pop this one down first of all, and then I'm going to do this one, and then that one. And then finally this one will cover everything and just give you a nice finish on the bottom of the box. Turn it upside down and you can just go inside there or use your bone folder just to spread all of that glue out. Okay, like so. Now you can obviously fill it with your treats and everything but I'm now going to bring in my ribbon. What I like to do is, again, this is the front because there's my side seam join on the back left hand side. So I'm going to do the sides first of all. So I'm going to go in this one here, okay, and then using the other end I'm going to go in the opposite. Okay, make sure I've got roughly the same amount overhanging. I'm just going to trim this end because it seems to have frayed. Okay, so I've got about equal amounts there and then in fact I'll do the back. Make sure all of these little wings now all start to fold in, okay. I'm then going to go in this back one. 
and just make sure the wings are all folding in as you pull it all together and then this one I'm going to go in the front this is how I do it you don't have to do it in this order again make sure that they all fold down and you'll see there now if you get anything can you see that one there is kind of sticking out a bit too much it's actually hitting on this one here so what I'm going to do is just open it up and I'm just going to go in and just cut some more away from this side so you might find you want it you need to go a bit thinner okay but now I can just again bring them all together and I'm having it tied so it's at the front Okay, like so. I'm just going to trim a little bit off there. I can make that look a lot nicer <laughs> nearer the time when I actually end up putting gifts in it. And then I'm just going to grab one of these and just stick that one at the top there. And then one of the sentiments. And this one is going to go along the middle here. And there you have a very cute little gift box. So I'll just bring the blue one back in there so you can see it. I think they are really, really cute. Pretty easy to do and quick and you don't need too many supplies. So I'll link what I have used in the description box below. Also check out the tutorials that are popping up now and I'll be back again very soon with more fun tutorials. Bye!